1. First question that they will ask you is can you prepare a meal? Preparing food. Yes they asked me if I could prepare the food, but, I do not know the point system. So how could I answer according to the correct point system? Uh. Can you prepare and cook a simple meal unaided? Zero points. B. Needs to use an aid or appliance to be able to either prepare or cook a simple meal. Two points. C. Cannot cook a simple meal using a conventional cooker, but is able to do so using a microwave. Two points. D. Needs prompting to be able to either prepare or cook a simple meal. Two points. E. Needs supervision or assistance to either prepare or cook a simple meal. 4 points. F. Cannot prepare and cook food. 8 points. The second question want to know about if I can take the nutrition. I think they mean eating food. 2A. Can take nutrition unaided. 0 points. 2B. Needs either to use an aid or appliance to take nutrition or supervision to be able to take nutrition assistance to be able to cut up food. 2 points. 2C. Needs a therapeutic source to take nutrition. 2. Points. 2D. Needs prompting to be able to take nutrition. 4 points. 2E. Needs assistance to be able to manage a therapeutic source to take nutrition. 6 points. 2F. Cannot convey food and drink to their mouth and needs another person to do so. 10 points. They also ask me, if me. If. I could monitor my health. 3A. Either, I, does not receive medication or therapy or need to monitor a health condition. Or, 2, can manage medication or therapy or monitor a health condition unaided. 0.3B. Needs anyone. Or, more of the following. I, to use an aid or appliance to be able to manage medication. 2, supervision. Prompting or assistance to be able to manage medication. 3, supervision. Prompting or assistance to be able to monitor a health condition. 1 point. 3C. Needs supervision. Prompting or assistance to be able to manage therapy that takes no more than 3.5 hours a week. 2 points. 3D. Needs supervision. Prompting or assistance to be able to manage therapy that takes more than 3.5 but no more than 7 hours a week. 4 points. 3E. Needs supervision. Prompting or assistance to be able to manage therapy that takes more than 7, but no more than 14 hours a week. 6 points. The fourth question is about washing and bathing. 4A. Can wash and bathe unaided. 0 points 4B. Needs to use an aid or appliance to be able to wash or bathe. 2. Points. 4C. Needs supervision or prompting to be able to wash or bathe. 2. Points. 4D. Needs assistance to be able to wash either their hair or body below the waist. 2. Points. 4. E. Needs assistance to be able to get in or out of a bath or shower. 3. Points. 4. F. Needs assistance to be able to wash their body between the shoulders and waist. 4. Points. 4 grams cannot wash and bathe at all and needs another person to wash their entire body. 8. Points. The first question is. Managing toilet needs or incontinence. 5A. Can manage toilet needs or incontinence unaided. 0. Points. 5B. Needs to use an aid or appliance to be able to manage toilet needs or incontinence. 2. Points. 5C. Needs supervision or prompting to be able to manage toilet needs. 2. Points. 5D. Needs assistance to be able to manage toilet needs. 4. Points. 5. E. Needs assistance to be able to manage incontinence of either bladder or bowel. 6. Points. 5. F. Needs assistance to be able to manage incontinence of both bladder and bowel. 8. Points. The sixth question is. Dressing and undressing. 6. A. Can dress and undress unneeded. 0. Points. 6. B. Needs to use an aid or appliance to be able to dress or undress. 2. Points. 6. C. Needs either. Prompting to be able to dress, undress or determine appropriate circumstances for remaining clothed. Or. Prompting or assistance to be able to select appropriate clothing. 
2. Points. 6D. Needs assistance to be able to dress or undress their lower body. 2. Points. 6E. Needs assistance to be able to dress or undress their upper body. 4. Points. 6F. Cannot dress or undress at all. 8. Points. The seventh question is. The communication. 7A. Can express and understand verbal information unaided. 0. Points. 7B. Needs to use an aid or appliance to be able to speak or hear. 2. Points. 7C. Needs communication support to be able to express or understand complex verbal information. 4. Points. 7D. Needs communication support to be able to express or understand basic verbal information. 8. Points. 7E. Cannot express or understand verbal information at all even with communication support. 12. Points. The eighth question is about reading and understanding signs, symbols and words. 8A. Can read and understand basic and complex written information either on aided or using spectacles or contact lenses. 0. Points. 8B. Needs to use an aid or appliance other than spectacles or contact lenses to be able to read or understand either basic or complex written information. 2. Points. 8C. Needs prompting to be able to read or understand complex written information. 2. Points. 8D. Needs prompting to be able to read or understand basic written information. 4. Points. 80. Cannot read or understand signs, symbols or words at all. 8. Points. The ninth question is. Engaging with other people face to face. 9A. Can engage with other people unaided. 0. Points. 9B. Needs prompting to be able to engage with other people. 2. Points. 9C. Needs social support to be able to engage with other people. 4. Points. 9D. Cannot engage with other people due to such engagement causing either overwhelming psychological distress to the claimant or the claimant to exhibit behavior which would result in a substantial risk of harm to the claimant or another person. 8. Points. The tenth question is about 10. Making budgeting decisions. 10a. Can manage complex budgeting decisions unaided. 0. Points. 10b. Needs prompting or assistance to be able to make complex budgeting decisions. 2. Points. 10c. Needs prompting or assistance to be able to make simple budgeting decisions. 4. Points. 10d. Cannot make any budgeting decisions at all. 6. Points. The next part is about mobility activities. What was the next part of questions? The next question is about planning and following journeys. 11a. Can plan and follow the route of a journey unaided. 0. Points. 11b. Needs prompting to be able to undertake any journey to avoid overwhelming psychological distress to the claimant. 4. Points. 11c. Cannot plan the route of a journey. 8. Points. 11d. Cannot follow the route of an unfamiliar journey without another person, assistance dog or orientation aid. 10. Points. 11e. Cannot undertake any journey because it would cause overwhelming psychological distress to the claimant. 10. Points. 11F. Cannot follow the route of a familiar journey without another person, an assistance dog or an orientation aid. 12. Points. The final question is about moving around. Can you help me to get maximum points please? 12A. Can stand and then move more than 200 meters, either aided or unaided. 0 points 12B. Can stand and then move more than 50 meters, but no more than 200 meters, either aided or unaided. 4 points 12 C. Can stand and then move unaided more than 20 meters, but no more than 50 meters. 8 points 12 D. Can stand and then move using an aid or appliance more than 20 meters, but no more than 50 meters. 10 points 12 E. Can stand and then move more than 1 meter, but no more than 20 meters, either aided or unaided. 12 points 12 F. Cannot, either aided or unaided. E. 1 half. I. Stand or 2 move more than 1 meter 12 points 